Now let's look into the different deployment scenarios for open radio access network. So we know that within a 20 kilometer of a cell site, there is an edge cloud and within 200 kilometer, there is a regional cloud. Now, depending upon the kind of use cases we have, we have a different deployment scenarios in that case. So scenario A is basically where we have uh, RU at a cell site, but DU, CU and a near real time rig in that case would be at the edge cloud. So this is something where we have to ensure that, okay, all the all the different services, be it related to lower latency because CU is at the cell edge that can be achieved or it can be related to broadband services. Another option is option B where we have the DU and CU at the edge cloud, but the radio intelligent controller in this case is kept at the regional cloud. This is widely used for the out outdoor deployment and precisely in the dense urban area where we need a low latency uh, requirement in this case where we have CU to be kept at the edge cloud. Now another option is which is widely being used and recognized which is scenario C where we have the DU at the edge cloud whereas the CU is at the regional cloud. Now before getting into the detail of scenario C let's look into scenario C1. So scenario C1 is little bit advanced version of scenario C where we see that the CU is now being divided into two part. One is a user plane functionality, another is a control plane functionality. Now the user plane functionality for the lower latency services, it can be achieved by keeping the user plane CU at the edge cloud. Whereas for other services which are not time sensitive, it can be leveraged by using CU at the regional cloud. We can see the number of RUs that can be catered by one particular DU is quite high, around 64 DUs can be catered as per over analyzed specification. And simultaneously for a particular CU, we can cater to around 100 DU, though in practicality, I believe this is still, nobody will do it, but it is just uh, theoretical numbers for, for just understanding. Now here, if you see, we can achieve all the three different services by leveraging scenario C1. Scenario D is again used for outdoor deployment and this is again something where we have the non-virtualized or a proprietary hardware in this case for DU. Scenario E and F is basically for future study and if we see widely this is used for indoor uh, the scenario E and the scenario F for outdoor. But what we have seen and observed so far, the scenario C1 is the one which is widely applicable for all the different applications and services required.